All right, let's uh, show you a couple more widgets we have here. As you saw, we have several math ones. We have some plots. We have a number line, a unit circle, protractor. And we also have a lot of music things for the music line paper that we have. And there's also a toolbar, which we'll show you in a moment, that allows you to insert a lot of these things. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll actually go out and we'll create some music paper so we can demo that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's save and close this one. Go up here and make a new notebook. And we're just going to kind of throw this to randomly pick one. A little bit more random. There we go. All right, we're going to go over to our music paper. There we go. And we're going to call this music paper. Create that. Over here, and we'll just open it up. Uh, as you can see, you can, of course, draw your notes by hand. Um, but if you would like to, you can come down here and go into the tools, and you can insert the music toolbar. Um, of course, our, our interface is still under construction a little bit. All right, this little gray background here is going to be a little bit smaller. That way it didn't take out your top line. Um, but instead of having to go through all of the menus to get to the music notes, since you're going to be inserting a lot of them, you can just come up to the toolbar and insert one, drag it where you want, press done, and you can just keep going through and doing it this way. Um, some, some music widgets that don't show up in the toolbar, uh, if we go down here into the widget menu, and you can go down into some key signatures and just drag them up, match them up there uh, for creating. So this would be a good time to show them some of the export features. Oh, that's, that sounds good. Let's make a, a few more pages here, right on them. That way we can export a lot. Let's turn off the race for most so we can draw some. Mm -hmm. Why don't we go ahead and close that toolbar so it's not in our way anymore? All right make a whole bunch of pages, that way we can show how much it exports. Go ahead, and we've created 24 different pages. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go down to the menu, and we're going to hit Export PDF. When you hit Export PDF, it'll allow you to turn off the background texture. We have a nice soft gradient on most of our paper, that way it's a little bit easier on the eyes than pure white. Mm -hmm. We also can turn off lines to where it'll just leave you a blank white paper, which on music paper is probably a bad idea. So we're going to go ahead and turn that back on. You can either have it export the entire notebook or just select the pages, as well as choose your image quality or choose if you want to email it. For now, we're just going to export it with default settings and let it go. The, the PDF was successfully exported uh, into the document directory where you can either plug in your iPad and access the files or use our smart sync service to access them through a web browser. Right. So we're going to jump back over to our legal pad notebook now, just so we have a little bit better place to write. And here we are, right where we left. And now we're going to show you the audio features. Inside of the application, on every notebook, there's a little audio icon down here. When you click it, you can start recording to record a lecture if you're in one, or you can view whatever recordings you've currently got from any notebook on your device. So. Right here we have one we've already recorded. Uh, we're going to go ahead and leave that one alone and start a new one. So we're going to start recording, and it's going to record what we're saying right now. Now, I don't want this to take too long, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And we can go right back to our view recordings, and here's our newest one, labeled with our notebook name along with the date and time that it, we, we recorded it. So we're going to go ahead and click this so and press that. we're going to start recording, and it's going to record what we're saying right now. Now, I don't want this to take too long, to, so I'm going to uh, go ahead scroll and stop. Bar to scrub. Uh, the current location, uh, and you can also email the recording if it's small enough. Right. If it's a small enough recording, you can email it, and the, you can send this to people who have iPads, people who are on the computer, or anything. The notebook is also placed in your directory, so you can access it via SmartSync. Okay. Um, this one last feature we have to show you here is in the widget menu, so we're going to have go ahead and... Uh, we have a full page web browser that you can open it up and browse the internet. Uh, Brendan's going to pull up Engadget real quick and we'll let you see that. Now the nice thing about this web browser is that since we know you have to go back and forth between taking notes and using the web browser, is it remembers exactly where and what you were doing. It does never take itself out of memory. So right now we're going to oh, zoom in and we're going to move over here. 
And now most web browsers on the iPad, whenever you close, it's just going to play and lose wherever you are. So we're going to close this, and we're going to do a little bit of drawing, and then we're going to open it back up, and you're still in the same place. Now this also works for, for example, up here, there's a place where you can type. If we type some letters and leave, it will still be there when we come back, just to show you that it does, in fact, keep it all in memory. And the last feature we have is if you would like to include some web browsers in your notebooks, uh, either as content or, you know, just for keeping up with news or chat or whatever, uh, you can just draw right here on screen and it'll create a browser. Uh, you can create as many of these as you'd like. Um, we're just going to say this. And if you need this image in your notebook, um, you can just go ahead and hit the snapshot feature and it will flatten it into an image and place it in your notebook. Now the nice thing about this image is that if you do take a picture of a reference chart or any other thing you want to keep in here, it's available even when you're offline. So you no longer have to be connected to the internet to access the content and the useful things on the web page. You can also export things. If I want to send this picture via email, I can just export this one single page, not as a PDF, but purely an image. That way it's easier for someone else to view. Um, and I think that's about it for this video. Yep. Um, we'll see you in our next video. See you in our next video, which will show you exactly what... The rest of the interface on the home page. Yeah, in our next video, we'll show you the interface on the home page and what all it can do.